Jack, Jack. Yo, welcome back. Here we are in beautiful Portland, Oregon. We're right here on the Willamette, is it Willamette? Willamette. Willamette, we're on the Willamette River. I got my Crocs on. We're gonna be going after white sturgeon today. And we've been guaranteed by the local bait shop that we would catch one. And we got some local mussels from the local fishmonger. We're gonna steam them with a nice whiny broth with some local Pinot Gris. I'm Nate P, and this is Shore Lunch. So why with all the beautiful places we could go fish in Oregon, are we fishing on the Willamette River, just downstream from the largest city in a weird industrial area? Because we want sturgeon, man. This is where they're hanging out. They live in these here waters. They're an industrial fish. Hi there, you dogs. We're going after these big sturgeon, so I had to get some new, big, heavy duty equipment. Come on down, can I show you? Eight ounce sinkers to hold us down on the bottom. Barbless circle hook. Where we're fishing, it's illegal to have a barb on your hook. This is Dacron leader. The reason we're using this is because the back of these sturgeon are really sharp, and this is a little bit more resistant to cutting. We're gonna snell this hook like I like to do. Now that's a swivel. It's rated up to 190 pounds. Uh, we're gonna put the swivel on and we're gonna tie it with a Palomar knot. Cinch it all up. We're ready. I'm gonna grab the rod real quick, okay? Ugly stick, tiger rod. It's a good fucking rod. Tons of backbone, hefty duty. It's a really cool brown color. We're not using mono, unfortunately. At the bait shop, they talk me into doing this 65 pound braid. Here's something fun, squid. Oh God, it's just a frozen squid. We're just gonna hook this here, hook it like that. Maybe I'll do one more through the head. I don't know, I've never done this before. I have been excited for this for fucking, not days, not even weeks or months, but years for catching one of these fish. If these fish get upward to like 250, 300 pounds. Big, eight, 10 feet long, big. So that's what we might be tangled with today. I hope we get one. Getch, I hope we get one. So we just got this squid sitting on the bottom. We're gonna wait for one to come by and pick it up and eat it. Yeah, let's just let's sit here and fish for a bit. Probably go get a cold beer. That kind of sounds good this morning. You already opened one. Probably go grab that cold beer. Eric, you know what we might have to do, bud? Are you just on your phone? Uh, I'm looking at the depth of the water. I'm gonna recast here once and then fish for a couple more minutes and I think we might wanna move down a little bit. You wanna get some reeling in footage? Try to cast her out a little bit farther here. Pumping gear, moving to a better spot here. Water drops off a lot faster. We just moved about four miles. This is much closer to the drop off where we're at here. So we figured it's gonna be a better chance to catch one of these big beasts. This feels like the spot, it feels real fishy over here. It's gonna be 60 degrees today. It's beautiful, but it's what I like to call hot cold. It's like humid air with warm sun. It's interesting. Some other dudes out fishing. I wonder what he's going for. Maybe you leave that in the comments. What do you think? I'm not shitting you right now. If we get a big fish, that we guy's won't got even... something. Does he? I'm gonna go start a fishing show with that guy. I wonder what his name is. Oh, he's the salmon man. That guy's name is Len. Len, Len the Salmon Man. Here comes the salmon man, ruin the things that the salmon man can. Hey, you hound dogs. This guy's doing a little trolling. Just sitting here thinking about how great it would be to catch a fish today. You know, if we don't catch a fish today though, we can still talk about the excitement of how it would be if we did catch a fish. We had a bite. Something tapped it. Ah, no. Nothing. Something definitely hit it though. That's exciting, isn't it? We're gonna get a fish today. This new rod holder's cool. You get these in Portland. Got a fresh piece of squid. I'm just gonna kind of lace it on here a few times. I don't know if this is right. It seems right to me. <laughs> it smells real squiddy. We had a freshly, a freshly washed and pressed clown rag. I'm just getting the line nice and taut. Boy, that was exciting. Oh, you know what we need to do? Huh. The mentioning. Brian Storm. I'm gonna try to place this out a little farther. Yeah! Cool guy look, denim, denim man. Well, we got yacht coming after boat boat. Yeah, I wonder what's gonna happen here. 
There's only so much river. Okay, they're slowing down now. It looks like it's gonna be a head-on collision, doesn't it? Nope. Perfect. Wow. He's chasing them. Jeez. Get after it, Aqua Hound. Whoa! Wow, wow, woo, woo. Oh my gosh. I hope we don't get a bite now. We're not gonna be able to get after it. Looks like the tide's coming in or some shit. So I think we're gonna pull this and bring it a little bit closer. I got extra shoes, but I only brought one pair of stockings. All right, we're reeling this in. We're gonna try putting a little different bait on there. I got some uh, schmelt, vacuum sealed for maximum freshness. Get down there, catch me a sturgeon. Hold on to that feeling. If this doesn't catch a giant sturgeon, I don't know what's gonna. Look at that thing. Now I'm just tightening up so I got no slack line. We figured we'd make a little lunch here while the uh, while we fish. I gotta be careful. Our setup today is extra rickety. What we're gonna basically do is make a little bit of a broth uh, that we're gonna steam these mussels into. A really beautiful shallot. I'm still really thinking we're gonna get a fish. We got the stove rolling. I'm just getting the sand and grit out of this thing. You know, we're on the, sa we're on the beach. Sand gets fucking everywhere. Some real nice Oregon butter. We are gonna build some exquisite flavors. Jeff Bezos coming by. Shallots in. We're gonna let that just sit there and get nice for a minute. Oh, it smells so good. They're getting a little bit of brown on them. I don't mind that on a little shallot. These are uh, local Washington mussels. We're just gonna clean these beards off. And some of these have bigger beards than me. Just pull it right off. Sometimes you might have to cut them off a little bit. Boy, I like to be dangerous on shore. Everything I do is dangerous here on shore lunch. These mussels are beard free. Now you know when you're cooking these things, we're gonna cook them until they start opening up. That's how you know when they're done. God, how much more precarious can we get here? Like this, maybe? Salt as we go. Okay. Oh, shit. Now we're gonna get after it with some of this garlic with the microplane like we like to use. God, I hope we get a damn fish. Some pinot grease in the pan. It's got a nice sweetness that's gonna work really well. Mm. Well, I'm at Pali Pinot Grease, 2017. You wanna rip? I got the heat turned up. I'm gonna cook down this wine a little bit. Nice papar. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, the flavor. Hey! I'm gonna add a little chicken broth just for a little savory niceness. Not too much, about a quarter cup. I'd add a little pilsner, just a little bit. Never hurt anybody. That's gonna be the perfect liquid to cook these mussels in. A little more butter in there. Shine and cream everything up real nice. If you smell it right now, it smell, still has kind of an alcohol-y smell. You're gonna lose some of that and you're gonna start getting the just the sweetness of the wine and it's reducing and thickening a little bit actually. Cutting up some nice parsley for the garnish. God, it's so nice not having to fuck around with hell winds out here. Red pepper. So we'll just take the spoon, get rid of the seeds and membrane. We're cutting out that pithy membrane. I'm gonna just take a little taste. <clears throat> Ooh, perfect. Holy fuck, dude. The tide's way coming in. Oh, shit. That's how you say gloves in Canadian. Gloves. You know, it's equally as tall under the water as it is above the water. Yeah, that's really cool. We're gonna toast some bread real quick. Look at this. I'm just gonna keep flipping this every few seconds. Make sure we don't burn it. I like getting a little tiny bit of char on that bread. I think what we're gonna do here is put these mussels in right now. Ah, oh, shit! Time is not on our side right now, kids. Jeff Bezos drove by in his goddamn yacht. <laughs> It'll just be a few minutes. Look at them all opened up. We're ready to eat. Just spoon these out. Oh, garnish with a little of this nice parsley. Red pepper. Red lemon. <laughs> Sometimes it's easy to overdo them, get them a little rubbery. These are not that. And the flavor is so delicious. We cook the wine down and all it is is remnants of what it was. And the remnants are all sweet, buttery, and absolutely delicious. The red pepper's fucking hot as shit. And that fire just cuts through 
The parsley's bringing a green color and an effervescent freshness that only parsley can bring. For me, this is just like the meal of the springtime. Oh. Fork Cam is brought to you by D&J Glove Repair, South Minneapolis. One of the only baseball glove repair shops in the entire fucking universe. I went there the other day and I met Jimmy and he's got all kinds of baseball gloves. He sells them, he fixes them. He'll take orders from as far as Japan. I mean, he will take orders from a far place. Get over there if you need your glove repaired because it's a cool, it's a cool ass shop. Get some of this good broth. D&J Glove Repair, South Minneapolis. Enjoy them. They're so fucking good. I wouldn't have done shit differently, it's perfect. You can use this bread to sop up that juice. Dear the internet, it's been a beautiful day. The mussels were delicious. The camaraderie was wonderful. Thank you for watching Shore Lunch with Nate P. We really appreciate it. Till next time, my friends. Tay Tay. Ta ta. Toot toot. Toodle do. Oh, fuck. What happened? I was cutting those hot peppers. I just rubbed my eye. We should, we can turn this into a PSA. Oh, God. If you're cutting hot peppers, don't rub your eyes or your private parts. When you leave your fishing spot, bring a bag and make it cleaner than you can. Some shitty plastic. Oh, some fishing folk are, uh, have different fashion sets than I do. I'm more of a croc man myself. It's foam, a bolt. Get your trash cleaned up, kids. More foam. It's a satisfying way to end your fishing adventure, especially when you caught no fish. It is what it is, but you know what? We're gonna leave this in till the last fucking minute. To the bitter end.